This is Minister's oh, Island, nice. Van Horn's <clears throat> greenhouse. Yeah. The greenhouses were over on Minister's Island. I see there's a, I just saw a wood barrel stove in there, so that, hard to tell what the season is, because they were heating inside there, in addition to the sun. They grew all sorts of exotic foods over on Covenoven, too. Fruits from around the world that you couldn't uh, get here. Were... Down up the big house, flower beds down there were just mm. endless. So they needed that much room to get them all started. And... I don't think they did much year round. It was only for the summer, flowers for the family and the, mm -hmm. you know. I don't think they harvested year round, but they kept it alive. Mm -hmm. Like the grapes and the yeah. trees and things, but. Remember a greenhouse on the, on the island? Oh yeah, no, I recognize the ones on the island. I lived in it. <laughs> Cat straight to the house. It came right out from the house. Yeah, oh yeah, we did have to go doors. We just trot right down through and get a bunch of grapes. That's the way to do it, isn't it? That's very sad, isn't it? A big greenhouse. It's left of it, not very much. Someone up behind there. Mm hmm. My grandmother lived in this end of the house, and we lived in the other end. Coal furnace. Coal? Coal, yeah. We had pipes up through here, uh, steam went up through. Trot down through the greenhouse, get a bunch of grapes, pears, pieces, plums, and trees. Rack up, lay back. We had a wharf right down here. Mm -hmm. There used to be a wharf out there. That's all gone. How long did you live here? Oh, 25 or 30 years probably. I saw glass around it and everything. We had a good life here. Mm -hmm. You know, the time was up, it was ours. Freedom. Yeah. Lots of memories. Yeah, all there was, a lot of memories, that's for sure. Good and bad. <laughs> Mostly good, though. The cattle were over on Minister's Island. There used to be a whole bunch of those pictures in uh, the milk room in the barn. They're still there. Along with their, a lot of their ribbons and stuff. They're there, they yeah. We had quite a herd of cattle over there. Uh, Dutch belted. It's what? Dutch belted. Cattle. Two or three teams of horses. We had our old horse down our place. There were some gardens in those days, right? Well, I know a lot of those homes had beautiful flowers because, excuse me, I always had that big show in the, you know. Mm -hmm. They had flunkies. Worked them. Uh, yes. Like this one. Uh, they had flunkies like you, Henry, to work, to work the gardens. Yeah. Well, better go to school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait the time, roll to school. Whoa. Incredible head we Oh my oh goodness. My gosh. He's picking something this far. He's going to break his foolish neck. It looks yeah. like it, doesn't it? What's he picking? Well, I don't know. I'm trying to show how high those things are growing. I think it's, I think they got a fence behind there, I think. Yeah, I think it's a vine. It looks like it might be hops, I'm not sure. What are they called? Dutchman's pipe, isn't it? Does it grow high like that? I think it will. Now get down from there, sir. You get up. That's <laughs> not a good move, is it? Well, we all could work on the island. Back then, you, that was life. You could work for your parents. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mow lawns all summer. You got nothing for it. <laughs> Nothing for it, but you had a house. Yeah, that's right. It was fed. Mm -hmm. And grapes. Yeah, grapes and peaches and pears. And... That looks like um, she died Henry Clark. Clark. Bill Clark, Henry's his son. Bill was Peter's uncle, and his wife was Doris Garnett. <laughs> and uh, they lived over there for many years. And he was, the I understood, the head gardener yep. over there. John Clark, which was Bill's older brother, also worked on the island, but when their father died, Bill's the one that took over because John wasn't that well. He used to dress up, you know, <laughs> and I mean, 
certainly on a Sunday, they all dressed up and went to church. That was a given. But Henry was born in 36. That might have been his grandfather, mm -hmm. Harry Clark. Mm -hmm. And he would have died before 35, before Henry was born. So that might be Bill? It's possible, but he doesn't walk like him. Bill, yeah, he was born in 1904, I think it was. And he was about 90 when he died. So. Oh, their apprentice Wainwright said, Milton McNabb, he was a full-time gardener. Well, that's he had right. Him looking nice, yeah. And you know, he used to dig a trench every year to bury the roses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want some of the clerks here for that. Elizabeth worked in the house, so she would really know that. Elizabeth McInerney. Yeah. Bud, Bud's sister. She lives in St. John now. Bud Clark lives on Charles Street. Oh, he does. <laughs> What do you remember most about living over there? Long walk to school. <laughs> long walk to school. Yeah. Especially when the tide's in. That's right. <laughs> Sit over there on this side in the hedge uh, of the shelter, you know, there's rain and stuff, waiting for the tide to go off. Lots of times we had to row across in the boat. Didn't have old boards and it just roll across the dinghy. Mm -hmm. You worked as a gardener there? Yeah, I went there for summer months, you know. Bill so was w well revered and thought of. They were a great family because they lived there all their lives. This is Angus and Cecil. I think that's Kathleen and their ma, Bill, and Betty, the one that lives in Ottawa and grew up up there. That's Margaret on the end. You know, so that could have been even early 30s, maybe. When I remember Angus and Cecil, they were they were old, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course, that would have been in the 50s. And what was Ma's real name? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Okay, so this is Mary. I'll put yeah. Mary on there. Yeah. Very good. And little Betty, we have little Betty, big Betty, you can call it. Oh, yes? Yeah. Which one's she? Little Betty. Sir. She's little Betty? Yeah. Where's big Betty? She's not there. No, no it's her daughter. After. Oh, I see. They live in Ottawa. Henry's grandfather was brought there by Sir William. And then when he died, Henry's dad took over the Gardner Park, and Henry was just grew up there. So that's Bill Clark, and it's a good picture of him. So your grandfather came from where? England. They went to Lyme Ridges. That's where they were from, in the south of London. In where? Lyme Ridges. Lyme Ridges. Oh really? I went there to see all the cars from the cemetery. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he was brought over by Sir William. They were in Montreal because that's where his grandmother. They were married up somewhere in around the Montreal area. The wedding cake one was their 50th wedding anniversary. He had three girls, that's probably them. Kathleen, Harriet, uh, Mary, and Margaret. That, if those are his children, mm -hmm. he only had three girls, so. Went nursing in New York and then Margaret, and she was to work for the judge down in Salt River, New Jersey. So what was your best memory of being there? I said we had a great time. Just <laughs> I said it was 500 acre playground. <laughs> yeah, 500 acre playground. Pretty good. Yeah. What's your, what was your worst memory? The winter. We ate. The roads were all filled in with snow because there were hedges on both sides, mm -hmm. the avenue. We had to go up across the fields. Well, what school did you go to? Town here, Spritzer. So you had to walk? Yes. Every day? Every day. Sometimes. Uh, I used to work at Ross Mount. Charlie Kelly used to give us a ride to the bar on corner. <laughs> he picked us up now by where the arena is there. He would ride a short ride and we'd walk. Spent more time traveling than we did in school. <laughs> I'm sure. They had no school buses back then. They... Well, you had to walk. And we walked. It must have taken you an hour or something, didn't it? Yep. You didn't have to have any business classes. <laughs> And so your grandfather, and then your father, and then you. Oh, this is Henry here. It's Henry. Who are these? Listen, listen. That's the Van Horton girl. The other brothers and sister. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bud. Those them up there. A picture. Uh, from that's the whole family up there. Yeah, yeah. there we are. Uh, Before and after. There's one up there, and there's the, the after one. That's <laughs> Elizabeth was the only one born on the island. Henry was born in the hospital. And Bud and Jim mm -hmm. were born um, 
in the little house they tore down beside the convenience store. You were born where? At the convenience store? Oh, yeah? <laughs> that's the house there. Yeah. So that's where I was born. Francis G. Yeah, Francis Gerald. So uh, how come everybody calls you Bud? <laughs> that was just a nickname. <laughs> yeah, it's just stuck, Brother right? Bud, yeah. mm -hmm. But Elizabeth was actually born on the island. We had a pretty good at school, which was where things were going rough and just get upset and tides coming, we got to go now. <laughs> Why don't go? <laughs> I think they had a pretty good handle on whether or not you could go. Surely they didn't have a clue of the pictures. <laughs> We get away with it anyway. Maybe they were glad to get ready. That's why they let us go. Finish it up. We're all by the tail. I was the youngest, but I stayed there the longest tonight. Mm. Oh, yes? Right to the bitter end. It was sad. My father was still going over and planting flowers, and they locked him up. Who locked him up? And Vino was over there. Oh. And the government. Yeah. They locked him out. He changed the lock so his key wouldn't work. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, he broke his heart. <laughs> Henry figures it should be a prison farm. Yeah. <laughs> well, the inmates look there. after it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, we've been to their prison farms and places have where no soldiers. No. And they were all working and keeping things going. The cattle were there. You remember, you remember weeding this? Yeah. What did you say? Oh, yeah. What did, how did you do it? Got our hands and knees. We had a spike in between each brick. All the weeds out. <laughs> on, yeah. your, on your hands and knees. Yeah. <laughs> That's Dryer's Cottage there. Dryer's Cottage? Yeah, it's down by the stables, eh? Down by the stables. It's not there anymore. Uh, how do you spell it? D-R-Y? Yeah. E-R? Yeah. Who was Dryer? He was a coachman. So that's down beside the stables? not there anymore. And it's gone. Mm -hmm. He used to take the Van Horns across the town to the church on Sunday that the, the big wagon. Miss Addie was the daughter. She came close with my mother-in-law, who was living over there raising her little boys. And before she left, she gave my mother-in-law a beautiful ring. There was a big farmhouse on, on a hill. Um, that was the Andrews house. The Andrews maintained the center part of the island. Okay. Van Horn owned both ends. But at some point, Van Horn must have bought the, that rest of the island because the, uh, mm. there was people that worked on the farm that were living in it. Mm. In that big house. That's mm. where the graphs lived. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They lived in the front of that. Yeah. So that, that picture is real early, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like mm. it probably is. Mm. Yeah. Da down beyond where the, the barn is, there were a number of like duplex mm -hmm. buildings that they had for the Family farm stuff. hands. Yeah. My father-in-law and mother-in-law lived over there too, and he worked on the farm. My husband was born on Minister's Island, and they lived there at one point, and they also lived, uh, not the stone house, but one next to it, where the kids were little with their Christmases there and everything. Peter's parents were Ruth and Mike, which is a nickname, his real name was John, never called that ever, Garnet. <laughs> but everybody knew him as Mike. Mm -hmm. Do you know where that uniform came from? No. Van Horn had a yacht, mm -hmm. and when you go across the bar, th that flat area right there, they had a boathouse, and in it, there was a, y a sailing yacht, yep. as yeah. from one end up to the other. And I suppose they had a captain, or whoever, and that's where that came from. I'll bet you a dollar. <laughs> oh, yeah? So, well, he had to have a uniform that day. Because he, he was in the Army. Yeah. For whatever reason, he had to have a uniform this particular day. Uh, that house right there. Yeah. yeah. That's, that was the manager's house. They've, it's changed a lot yeah. since I was... Yeah. Oh. That's what they call the minister's house now. Yeah. Okay. okay. But that was the manager and whatever... Because that's where the cook was, and yeah. that's where the manager lived, okay. and that's where Frank mm -hmm. Miller lived. He had a cook. Mm -hmm. Her husband's name was Frank Miller. So, I don't know, at certain times of the year they have extra people come in. Well, there was a boarding house well, that's down it. beyond the barn. Mm -hmm. When we first moved into it, we lived upstairs, and there was a Mrs. Gibson, Mr. and Mrs. Gibson mm -hmm. lived downstairs. Mm -hmm. And that's gone And when now. they left, we, kept, we took over the whole house. Mm -hmm. But that house is gone now, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, yes that, was up, that was upstairs. So Peter was born over there on f in 48. 
Peter got lost on the island as a baby. He wandered away. Oh, yeah? He was well, away. I went to that where? Out back of the island to meet them. Well, it, <laughs> they took a different road coming back than what I took going out. So I got out there and they weren't there. <laughs> so everybody was out looking for the little guy. So there's the barn. Okay, keep just go down a little bit. See that house down there? That yeah. one? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I just saw it before it went. We lived in that one up there at one point. That's, no, that's an implement shed, actually. That's a shed. So that was chicken house? Yeah. And that's the pigsty. See this long building here? That's the power generator in that right off the end of the chicken coop. Oh, that. I, that's a, that was a stone building, it seems to me, too. That's where the generator was. Okay. It's still there. Can you go down to the other end of the island in Shankill yeah. Harbor? Van Horn owned one on the back side of the island, up past Long Meadow. Yeah, right to the end. So Van Horn had a, a log a cottage up there. Somewhere. That could be it right there. Since our dad and grandpa used to build that one. The cabin, you mean? Yeah. Well, it was a big cabinet. It had multi-rooms. Mm -hmm. What did he use that for? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. It was basically abandoned when, in the early 50s.